Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Michael Allwhite, the voice of the Wascom Wildcats, and we are in Jimmy Cox Stadium tonight in Wascom, Texas, where your Wascom Wildcats are hosting the Dangerfield Tigers. Julie, the Tigers are in town tonight. The Tigers are in town. They're the top team in the district. Uh, well, technically, well, Harmony, we'll know they'll next be playing week. Harmony next week, and we'll know for sure, but I'm thinking it's going to be Dangerfield. Julie's made the call. I'm making the call. But uh, they have shut out every other district opponent. No one scored on them in district this year. So I'm just uh, hoping maybe we can score on them tonight for sure. Yes, your Wascom Wildcats uh, are not on the field right now. We got the um, blow-up tunnels ready. We're nine minutes from kickoff. Dangerfield is in the south end zone warming up. Mm -hmm. And um, the spirit line of the cheer squads and cheer teams are out. Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, Dangerfield also has a dance line, so maybe some good halftime entertainment tonight. Yes, yeah, so tonight the Wildcats are playing their last home game. They celebrated their seniors earlier tonight uh, for 2023-2024, um, and uh, they're and that was a good time to mm -hmm. celebrate the seniors. Mm -hmm. And tonight is the Wascom Wildcats' last home game for 2023, and we're hoping to score on the Dangerfield Tigers. And I told Julie, I was hoping we would win against the Dangerfield <laughs> Tigers. But uh, the, the uh, Wildcats had a tough season. Um, they're a young team. Uh, last week we uh, came in strong against Harmony. I held uh, there with them for the first uh, few quarters, and then they just overpowered us in the second half, and they beat us pretty handily. And so it's going to be uh, interesting to see these two district uh, teams, Dangerfield Tigers and the Harmony Eagles, go at it next so week. Next week your Wildcats will be playing their last game of the season, and that will be in Hugh Springs against the Hugh Springs Mustangs. I think I said uh, Harmony Eagles is the Harmony Cardinals, right? I guess it don't matter. They're birds. So Harmony against Dangerfield. And also we're going to – we'll go through the uh, scores as we, as we do generally, but one – uh, big school um, team or teams that are playing tonight I was mm -hmm. interested in is Duncanville and DeSoto. The 6A powerhouses uh, both have uh, just tons of D1 prospects and probably several players that we'll be seeing on Sundays playing in the NFL. Those teams uh, match up tonight, so we'll kind of track that along with our area teams and see what's happening here, um, getting close to the – Playoffs uh, next week will be our last game for the Wildcats. There is a mathematical chance of us getting into the playoffs, but with the um, 3 AD 2 matchups we got out there, the fourth place team is going to have a very big challenge because they will play Newton come out of our district. So um, whoever goes fourth will have their work cut out for them to get uh, any further into the postseason, but it's always nice to uh, be going to the playoffs. Um, so we have that game, our last game in Hugh Springs, and our last district game, our last game if we don't get into the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to be interesting tonight to see how the Wildcats can hang with this eighth rank now by Dave Campbell mm -hmm. in the 3 AD2. They're eighth, and so you would think they'd be higher, higher rank. So you got uh, Gunter, Canadian mm -hmm. uh, on the one and twos, and Hooks is fourth. And um, that's one of the teams I'm kind of following. They did really excellent last year, kind of uh, unexpectedly got to the uh, state semifinals from the predictions. And so uh, the postseason for 3 AD2, it'd be fun to watch mm -hmm. and see what happens. Some other interesting games tonight and in our area is going to be Tatum and Jefferson yeah, face off tonight. Yeah. New Diana and Elysian Fields face off tonight. Are they in Elysian Fields? They are at Jacket Stadium. Um. Let's see here. Marshall and um, Nacogdoches play tonight. And uh, Gilmer and Spring Hill. So those are some other interesting games. That we'll, and we'll be following all the area games. So we are down to right about five minutes for kickoff. I still haven't seen the Wildcats, but we're getting close um, to kickoff. We will be uh, uh, bringing the game live, as always, uh, KMHT. Uh, not, uh, we're on our FM channel tonight. We got on the, uh, I'm sorry, we're on the um, AM channel. AM tonight. channel tonight, 1450 AM. And then on our uh, 
YouTube, Wasco Wildcat YouTube page. And there, the Dangerfield Tigers have made it on the field. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back uh, with the start of this game between your Wasco Wildcats and the Dangerfield Tigers. or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look. No matter which fits your situation, Auto Body Express of Marshall is here to get your vehicle back to its pre-accident condition. With a lifetime warranty on paint and body work, along with quick, friendly service during the repair, your experience will be second to none. Our state-of-the-art facility ensures the quickest and most reliable service to your vehicle so you get back on the road sooner and looking better than ever. Auto Body Express will assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair with updates while your vehicle is in our care. So whether you have a car, truck, or SUV, your friends at Auto Body Express are to ensure you that quality auto repairs are no accident. <laughs> This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Five Star Builders, the leader in barn construction and barn dominium construction, garage, storage buildings, all for you the way you want them. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, and we have the qualified men to do the job right for you. Check it out. Call 903-407-7627 to get a qualified representative to come speak to you. That's 407-7627. Go Wildcats. ATEX Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Wascom Wildcat Football. ATEX Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. ATEX Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from ATEX Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Wascom Wildcats! All right, back here live in Wascom, Texas, Jimmy Ecox Stadium. The Wascom Wildcats have made their way down to the field. Fans getting fired up. We'll get set uh, to honor America with a national anthem. Looks like we have some extra cheerleaders tonight of the little tiny sort. Got the little cheerleaders out there supporting the, mm -hmm. the high school boys tonight. I believe... Um, for pink out, they're all wearing their pink shirts and uh, honoring the breast cancer survivors and the ones that who have gone on before. So right now the players are lined up on the sidelines. Um, all of them have their helmets off, the Dangerfield Tigers and the Wasco Wildcats. Um, So we'll go out to the field, and we have a student leading us in the National Anthem. Who's that, Julie? Brooklyn Davis. No, and who's singing the National Anthem? Oh, Tori Wells. And she's a senior, correct? So the clock is set for the first quarter having a word of prayer, and we'll go out to the field. Help those that grieve in the loss of others. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh, can
So there's national anthems uh, sang by Tori Wells, senior for the Wascom High School. Now we have the captains and we'll have the coin toss. And coin toss tonight is brought to you by Visit Marshall, who invites you to the International Sounds Music Festival at Memorial City in downtown Marshall. For tickets and more information, contact texassounds.org. So the captains for Dangerfield will be number zero, number 57. Number 54 and um, number 11. For your Wascom Wildcats, the captains are number 5, Caleb Bush. Number 4, Kelvin Williams. Number 50, John Patrick. And number 52, Daniel Garcia. You know, even the public announcer doesn't have a Dangerfield roster. Um, number 12 was the other captain. I, I said number 11. We'll probably catch some of them online, but sometimes these aren't ac accurate um, list. So we're getting set for the uh, start of the game. We have time for jerseys with you. And well, tonight the Dangerfield Tigers are wearing all white uniforms with blue numbers and White helmets, your Wascom Wildcats are wearing their maroon jerseys with white numbers and white letters, white sleeve accents. They're wearing their white pants and their maroon metallic helmets with the white W. Yeah, these are my favorite ones of the season for the Wildcats. Mm -hmm. I yeah, like I really like that maroon jersey. With the helmet and the white pants. Looks really good. So the Wildcats will come out here. They will receive the ball first. The first half kickoff tonight is brought to you by Maverick Automotive and Exhaust, custom exhaust shop, leading the way in custom muffler and exhaust work. Over 20 years' experience in exhaust pipe bending, specializing in hot rods and muscle cars. There is no pre-bent pipe in their shop. So we have Montez Thompson, number 23 for the Wildcats, freshman. He'll be back at the 20 in the center. Um, we've got 22, Nate Espy and Joe Irving, number, um, well, that's um, 12 across from, Nate on the 40, Jace Calhoun, and then on the front row right now, you got 10, Joe Irving, Jackson Hicks, number one, number seven, uh, Bubba Jones, and number um, 21, Leo Agundas, number four, Kelton Williams, number 53, Moses Agundas, and set the kick for Dangerfield is number 18, and they're spreading across. 35 getting set to kick off. We got three Wildcats on the W in the center. And now they're going to spread out. And Joe and Kelton move back on the outside of um, Jace. And so the kick is high and it's going to go to Nate at the 15. It's going to be at the 20 and 25. He'll get back to the 31. Wildcats take over first and 10 offense, so the challenge tonight is to see if our district uh, foe, the Dangerfield Tigers, if we can score on them. They have been holding their opponents scoreless in district since they've gotten to district. They are undefeated in district. They've only lost two games this season. One of their losses, uh, they faced the team we did, uh, the Timpson Bears. And they, they lost to the Bears as we did, not in the same fashion as we did. <laughs> But give it to the Timpson Bears. They beat three AD2 teams, eighth rate team, the Dangerfield Tigers. Caleb Bush is going to pitch it outside to Joe Irvin, and Joe's going to get three yards. And 
And that's one thing about these Dangerfield Tigers. They were able to hang with the Timson Bears because of their speed and obviously their size and speed. Um, that's what makes it so interesting. We've seen both. Uh, we've seen Timson every season, the last three or four seasons, as well as Dangerfield. And um, so I'm interested to see how the Wildcats fare tonight against the Dangerfield Tigers. Something else big going on tonight. It's the first night of the World Series. Well, good grief. With the Texas Rangers. Oh, wow. Dang. Kayla Bush is under center. Motion right. Going to give it to Nate Espy inside. He's going to pick up a couple. He's going to bring up a third down and four. I said third down and four. Public announcer said six. He he got it wrong. It's third and four. It's on the board now. He was he just he thought it was okay. Yeah. So Caleb Bush is getting um, the plays in the huddle. Uh, last week uh, we mentioned um, a change in offensive line um, on the tackle side. I believe Harley Martin is the center, number fifty six. Moses Agundez on the left and Aiden Corbett on the right. Motion. He gives it to Nate up the middle, and that's some tough yards. He's going to be hit short of the first down. Maybe Good yard. to see Harley back in the game. He was hurt last week in the Harmony game, so it's good to see him back on the field tonight. Um, so now Caleb is running over to the sideline to get the play. I believe the Wildcats, they're just going to stay in here with a fourth and one. Hey, you might as well. Might as well. Then at those – Guard positions on the offensive line. You have Gunner Hay, and um, I always get Gunner and. Um, if we had Jalen Hurts, we could do that quarterback up. sneak. Two receivers to the right, motion right. Bush is going to give to Nate, and Nate gets the first down. Hey, that's oh. a Except fathom realty three. first down. Helping our friends and neighbors meet their East Texas residential, commercial, farm, and ranch real estate needs. Fathom Realty. So the Wildcats get a first down here tonight on their first position so far. And um, going back to the offensive line and the guards, Gunnar Hayes, 75 and 79, Caleb Mann. Getting a message that our audio needs to go up a little bit. On our um, mm -hmm. YouTube. Mm -hmm. So here we're breaking the huddle. We may just need to speak up. I'm kind of just subdued tonight. I, Are you subdued? You, you, yeah, you made a big dinner. <laughs> uh oh, we got a little mix up in the backfield, oh, and yeah. we're going to pay on a loss there. Yeah, loss of yards. That's that uh, uh, fake jet play, and we do a B back counter. And, um, it's got to be a lot of timing there because the well, loss slot's of two. coming across. Yeah. Bring up second and 12. It's eight minutes, 46 seconds in the first quarter. We're scoreless here in Wascom. Be second down. It's eight minutes, 37 seconds left to play. Caleb's breaking the huddle. We got uh, two receivers to the right, steal. Motion, no motion. He's looking to pass. He's going to throw a quick screen to Jackson Hicks, and he's going to be up end it with no gain. He did, he did catch it. Had a leap to catch it. Mm -hmm. He lost his helmet. So he'll have to come out for a play. The other receiver over here was Landon Nolan, number 13. And then Jace Calhoun is the receiver on the left side. So now we had two unsuccessful plays. We're here in a third and 12. Mm. Still on our own side of the field on our own 40-yard line. Wildcats come up to the line of scrimmage. We're in the flex bone. Motion right, goes back left, and he pitches it left to Joe Irving. We get a block, but we're breaking a tackle by Joe Irving, and he's going to pick up the first down. That's another fathom realty first down for the Wascom Wildcats. That was a good, strong play on a third and 12. And that'll put them in Dangerfield Tiger territory. So, um, Joe Irving picked up about 14 there, needed 12. Seven minutes, 30 seconds. We're scoreless here in Wascom. Wascom's got the opening possession. We're on the danger field 45 now. And a little hot in this press box. Well, our air unit's out in our section. Our air is out, folks. You, you got to think you're cool, and you will be cool. Ooh, mind over matter is Michael's way of doing things. Yep. Doesn't work for me. 
Got two receivers to the right. One to the left. We'll motion and give it to Nate. And Nate's going to pick up a pretty strong five yards. And there's another Wascom helmet. Another helmet off. We got a Dangerfield helmet. likes our helmets as much as we do. We got helmet issues tonight. Yeah, these are nice maroon and white helmets. So we'll switch in another That was 13 receiver. there that helmet came off. So number eight, Trenton Bush will come in, the brother of Caleb Bush. Um, Trenton is a sophomore. He'll go to the left side, come back to the right. Okay. So we have Jace and Trenton on the right side and receivers. Motion left, Joe Irving will give it to Nate. And uh, Nate got stuffed there by that defensive line. I'm trying to see what number that was. That's six minutes, 30 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Score zero to zero. Bring up third and seven for the Wildcats. Ball on the 42 yard line of Dangerfield. You know what, we haven't, we haven't come right yet. We've either went up the middle or we've gone left. Mm -hmm. And even going uh, up the middle, I say up the middle, we've been going on the left side in the A and B gaps. So now we're in a tight flex bone formation. Bush under center, motion right, gives it to Nate. And Nate's going to pick up some yards up the middle. It's going to be at the 39 of Dangerfield. Now we've got a fourth and four. So right now, a game plan is working well if we get this first down. <laughs> it's a tough fourth and four, and I know Dangerfield's starting to heat up and getting probably a little um, ready to get us off the field, at least our offense off the field. Mm -hmm. So we'll see who comes out on this fourth and four. Moon looks pretty tonight, don't it? Yes. Five <laughs> minutes, 25 seconds, zero to zero, fourth and four. We're going to bring two receivers over here to the right, one way out on the numbers on the 40, one on the right hash. Under center, Caleb Bush, motion right, gives it to Nate. And Nate. Is he no, well, the, he, he got it in our book, but in the line judge. I was going to say, judge. he's re was real close. No, wait, are they? Yeah, they're changing. Yeah. Yeah, he was really close to that first down, folks. That was. Yeah. I'd have called for a measurement. Yeah, well. Depends on where they spotted it. I guess they just didn't spot it. Where, but it, that was sure close. So we'll turn it around and ball go over on downs. Five minutes left to play in the first quarter, and Dangerfield will take their first offensive possession. Ball's on the 36. Dangerfield will come out in a spread. The quarterback is in the shotgun. It's full. Fullback's on the left side of him. He was looking at the sidelines to get the play. Two receivers on each side in this traditional spread. He's looking left, and he just looks left, and he just throws a fly pattern. He's got a wide-open guy, and he overthrows him. So number five was the tender receiver. Number five outran our safety and our cornerback, and the quarterback mm -hmm. outthrew everybody. And they may use this game to work on some passing. I don't know if that's something they do a lot. No, no. they do it a lot, and that right there they do a lot. Okay. Every year, and, and they're good at it. Okay. So they'll they'll be doing that a lot, and they'll be hitting it a lot. We just hopefully maybe can um, get some coverage. Yeah, maybe get an interception. Hands off to the fullback. He's going to pick up two yards, so that's a good defensive play by the Wildcat defense on second down. I'll bring up a third down for the Tigers. So that's the best looking first run stop that we've seen in a in a few weeks. We'll try to catch the defensive line here. Looks like we got a some new numbers out there. Traditional spread takes the snap and he's going to run it up the middle, jumps and he's going to leap for the first down. Still be in Dangerfield territory. That's number zero for the Dangerfield Tigers. We got him a pretty good spot. Yeah. Well, he's probably 6'2", and he's not that big, but he's a pretty good size. Quarterback, number zero, in the spread. Now he's kind of got a pistol set here. Fullback's coming right, and he's going to do the read option, and he throws that fly pattern to the right side. Now we got coverage, and he hits him on the money. Mm -hmm. Dang. What? I think he came loose. Did he, he didn't hold it? Yeah, the referee says yeah, no. Yeah, he didn't hold possession, so that was a beautiful pass. And it was great defense. It's just... 
um, he didn't hold on to it. That looks like the I, Dallas Cowboys. I definitely have noticed some good sportsmanship on the field between both of these teams. So I definitely hope that that'll stay that way this game. But yeah, I I, I think um, that's one thing I say about Dangerfield. Over all the the games the last four or five years, they've been very good sports. We've had some nail biters, especially that one in Longview when we beat them on the extra uh, two point conversion. Mm -hmm. And the quarterback then was a a, a top notch sportsman, mm -hmm. and so Dangerfield um, generally are top notch in that regard. So he's got trips left. He's going to give it to his fullback this time. He goes off tackle, and he's got a big hole, and he gets a first down into around the 32 yard line of the Wildcats. How much time we got left? Three minutes, 53 seconds left to play. Still. Zero to zero. And Daniel Field is moving the ball there over here. Trips left, and he fumbles, and he picks it up on a bounce. And is it a dead? Let's see what they're going to call. Ooh, I wasn't about ready. I was over here fanning. That looks like um, so interesting. They got a false start. Yeah, false start. So the Wildcats uh, defensive line got Abraham Terrazas, number 53, tonight. And we got to keep up with that because uh, Moses Agundes has been wearing that number. Uh, we've got 75, Gunner Hay out there, and then on Leo Agundes. And, oh, it's, and it looks like Moses is wearing 61. So Moses Agundes Sr., he's had three numbers this year. He's got trips left, gives it to his fullback. He goes off tackle right, and the defense has a hold of him. He's They're pulling him a little bit, but we hold him this time. So they didn't drag us. Like some people like to mention, the Wildcats brought him down with only a pickup of three. I'll bring up second down and 12. Yes, because they got a five yard penalty. So trips left, receiver out wide to the right in the pistol with the fullback. And he looks right like he's going to pitch it, and he does an under screen that comes under, and that's a good play. Number five is going to be in the score. Mm -hmm. So first quarter. Two minutes, 49 seconds left in the first quarter. They're at the 32. Mm -hmm. Dangerfield scores. To number five, zero to number five. So the quick score by Dan. Well, not too quick. The Wildcats had in there. And it's two minutes, 49 seconds. So we just about went uh, um, nine minutes of the first quarter. Number 18 will be set to kick the extra point. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Back here live, Wascom, Texas. Wildcats had a pretty good uh, offensive series. We went two or three first downs, and we got stopped on fourth and four. We were short one. Dangerfield took over, and they drove the field in the air and on the ground and eventually scored on a 32-yard pass to number five from number zero. And 18 made the extra point 7-0 right now here in Wascom. Dangerfield is ahead of the Wildcats. Mm -hmm. Two minutes and 50 seconds or 49 seconds left to play now in the first quarter. Dangerfield setting up to kick the ball off. So same uh, special teams for kick return out there. Waiting to see if Dangerfield's going to spread out or stay there in the middle. The Wildcats kick three or four in the middle. And then as Dangerfield gets set across the 35, the Wildcats will spread out. Number three, J.J. Moore is here up on the front line now. Kicking the ball to number Jace Calhoun. And Jace going right. Went, went right tonight. And looks like his mouthpiece came out. Oh, and he's got a flag. I yeah, think we didn't he's get those last week. Yeah, I think he's going to call that. He threw him down out of Unnecessary roughness, yeah. yeah. So Jace picked up about seven. And then we're going to tack on. The penalty that we didn't saw a lot of that on the uh, out of bounds last week in Harmony. 
But Those line judges, they didn't think much of that. Mm -hmm. So here in Wascombe, a penalty against Dangerfield will set the Wildcats in pretty good field position. I believe it's a 10 or 15. Let's see where he's going. That's going to be 15, so that'll put the Wildcats at their 42-yard line. So we'll take over first and 10. Two minutes, 40 seconds. We're only seven away from being tied with Dangerfield here in the first <laughs> quarter. What are, you, what are you laughing at? Oh, we're seven away. So the Wildcats have two receivers to the left now, so we're probably going right. Let's see. We're motioning left, and we're going left. They like that left side. Joe Irving gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. So we're going to lose about four. Mm. Yep, second down and 14 with two minutes, 25 seconds. Clock is running in the first quarter. So they're in the huddle. The Wildcats are. Caleb's over here on the numbers talking to one of the coaches as they get the call from the top here in the press box down to the field to the quarterback. And now he's in the huddle. They're on the left hash on the Dangerfield side. Wildcats right now are working uh, north to south. They'll be in a tight flex bone. Motion right, and we're going to pitch it right to Kelton Williams, and Kelton's got a good move there, and he's going to pick up the first down. I like watching Kelton run. That's a fathom realty first down. I like watching the other ones run, but he's he's pretty smooth runner. Mm -hmm. That's the first time he's run tonight. Yeah. So. Good first down for Kelton Williams. Puts Waskam in Dangerfield territory on the 47-yard line. First and 10, again, Dangerfield 7, Waskam 0. So, um, had a uh, interesting, you know, some people were talking about how the UIL doesn't allow you to have your pads above your knees. Well, it's out there tonight, folks. Counter right to the B back, and that's a good cut by mm -hmm. Nate Espy. Mm -hmm. Pick up six. All right, it's probably five. Now, what are you talking about? The UIL does have a rule against that? Well, I've had at different. Uh, games I've had people say there is and mm -hmm. they do hold against it but they're not I don't think they do but they, they overlook it because look at Dangerfield mm -hmm. I, I don't personally understand why a player would want to play on turf with their uh, knees it's because college not protected I know but it looks like it would definitely hurt it's all about the look Julie well, you gotta look good to play good no I, I would want to protect myself well that's while we're up here in the booth, we got two receivers to the left, motion left, Joe Irving, and we give it to Nate Espy. He'll pick up two or three. Nate, mm -hmm. Nate don't mind getting up in the in the uh, center of those defenses. You got to give it to Nate Espy. He's a, a strong, hard runner. And number twelve is a big um, linebacker. No, he's D N for the Dangerfield Tigers. Now we got a third and three. Third and two. Third and two. Well, you know what the Wildcats are going to call here, folks. And what do you think they're going to call? 30 seconds left in this first quarter. I think quarter. it's going to be a dive either left or right. Okay. But I'd give it to Kelton here on the short side of the field because they're thinking dive. They're like, Wildcats are going to run the dive. Motion right. And we try to draw them off. We never can get a draw off. Mm -hmm. Everybody draws us off. But Sometimes we, we draw ourselves off. We draw ourselves off. So now we're getting reset. We couldn't get the Danger for Tigers. They are watching oh, that We're ball. not going to get the – oh, we got to the playoff. Yep. Jet right, and he, Kelton Williams. Does he get Look, the first I thought it was down? an easy first down, but that line judge, he is real uh, cheap, cheap on that Dangerfield side. But on the Wascom side, it's a first down. I think it is. Yeah, we'll take a quick break. At the end of the first quarter, the Wildcats are down 7-0 to zero to the Dangerfield Tigers. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. The Wascom Independent School District, a leader in educating athletics, extracurricular activities educating our children to be good citizens but also they can attend major universities and come back home with an education to grow the community in East Texas. This school is a proud Wildcat supporter throughout the year. Go Wildcats! Hey Wildcat fans, this is Josh Manus, attorney at law. Let's all support the Wildcats for a great season every Friday night. 
hopefully we'll have a long playoff season as well. If you ever need a personal injury attorney, check us out at joshmanus.com. No longer do you need to call anyone in Dallas or Tyler. Since January 1 of this year, we've had over $10 million in verdicts and settlements. Check out our website at joshmanus.com. All right, back here live, Wascom, Texas. Your Wascom Wildcats are down 7-0 to to the Dangerfield Tigers. The last home game of this season. Wildcats have come out, and Bubba Jones is coming in at running back. We start in the second quarter, Dangerfield 7, Wascom 0, Wascom on the Dangerfield 37-yard line, first and 10. So Bubba will be the left slot. And Joe is the right slot. Two receivers to the left. Nolan, the inside receiver. Hicks, the outside receiver. Caleb Bush under center. Motion left, Joe Irving. And we're going to give it to Nate underneath. And he's not going to get but one yard. 77 and 8 on the tackle for Dangerfield. This will bring us second down. Eight. He got two. Gave him two. Second down and eight. It's not too shabby against that Dangerfield defensive line. Mm -hmm. Is that air come on yet? No. Oh, man. I got my personal when's fan it gonna, here. When's the fall coming, y'all? Next week. Next, next week, oh. I, yeah, I'm hearing that they're going to have some cool temperatures next week, and I'm going to be ready for them. Landon Nolan coming out here left, sending the flex bone. Jackson Hicks now on the right side. Under center, Caleb Bush. Motion, Joe Irving. Fake pitch, and he's going to throw it on a boot pass right, and he gets Nate Espy. And, and Nate hangs on to it and picks up a first Fathom down. Fathom Realty, first down. And a couple of good, about 10 yards after the catch. Fathom Realty, first down for Nate Espy. I like that boot pass play. So the Wildcats moving the ball here. We're hoping to get this score. What's they got going on outside? Oh, they turned it off as soon as I checked on it. Mm. So now... Joe Irvin's coming out. Oh, oh, Bubba Jones is the utility running back. They're moving him to the right side slot. And they're putting Kelton Williams on the left. Uh-oh. Julie done hit a button. Turn that mm -hmm. off, Julie. Motion left. There's Bubba Jones, and they give it up the middle to the B-back. I'm going to pick up two. A three. Julie, watch, watch what you're doing over there. Mm -hmm. We got a visitor up here tonight, Amy. Amy Jalar. <laughs> we don't let her on we, the mic. We cannot put her on the mic, she, folks. She takes stats. She's a statistician. She's that friend you don't put on speakerphone. So we got the Wildcats here at 10 minutes and 10 seconds. Clock's moving 7 to 0. Dangerfield is up over the Wildcats, but the Wildcats' offense has been pretty steady tonight. Well, I say the, the steadiest we've seen them, especially against a strong opponent as the Dangerfield Tigers. In tight flex bone motion right, going back left, and we're going to pitch it to Bubba Jones, and he has to mm. do a move because the linebacker, or the de defense was back in the backfield. Number eight is very, no, 12. It's very quick to get in the backfield. Mm. He was on him quick. So to bring up a third down for the Wildcats. We lost some yards to third and 12 on the 19-yard line. Nine minutes, 23 seconds and counting in the second quarter. Dangerfield 7, Wascom 0. Right, so ho hopefully we can get a good play here, get a five-plus play, get us in a good position to pick up that first down on fourth. We could go ahead and score. That would be nice. Two receivers to the right, motion right. It's a halfback pass from Joe Irvin. He lets it, oh, he, oh, he let him call penalty? Yeah, that was a penalty. So we got a... Um, pass interference? Yeah, pass interference. It was a halfback pass. Uh, intended receiver was Kelton Williams. And uh, Dangerfield just ran up on his back and knocked him over. So that's going to get the Wildcats a first down and maybe first and goal. I think it's a 15-yard penalty. So the um, referee's calling the penalty. And if they do mark that, it looks like it'll be at the, what would that be, the five or the six? The official's trying to mark it off 
as we speak. We have the 10. Yeah, he only gives them 10. I thought they got 15 for that. So it'll be first and... Well, look, no, that, it's yeah, they're calling it a... That should be a first time. They're calling it a third, so they replay it. So it's a 10-yard pit. No, no, it's no first now time. they go first. Yeah, and they the chain gang is all... Okay, they're, yeah. they're all off. So we're in a tight, flex bone formation. I thought it was 15. First and goal. They're going to be first. The, they're saying it's at the nine. Under center, Caleb Bush. Motion left. They're going to do a jet play to... I'm not sure that's, that's Joe Irving. Get in there, Joe Irving. Oh, oh Joe Irving. He, just short. I thought he was six on a leap, and he said, I'm a little too uh -huh. far to do a leap because he's at the three or the four. So let's give it to the machine. Yeah. Um, I, oh, believe our, I believe our super fan has a little running uh, bet, you know, that with somebody. Oh, wait, with some the super fan is Baptist and he's betting? Well, you just said that over live uh, radio. Well, he didn't bet anything. He was just uh, <laughs> <laughs> bragging rights. Well, but he's probably at the age. With he his can danger field bets. friends that Wascom would score and break their uh, holding to zero. So yeah, well, And, and y'all don't light up our, uh, our uh, mail. What, you can bet if you want to. Nate Espy on the B-back pitch, and Nate made that happen. I think I'd have given it up the middle. He's Nate in. Espy on and four. Nate Espy scores. Yeah. Wascom with second quarter, eight minutes, 45 seconds left to go. Eight minutes, 45. In the second quarter, Nate Espy scores Dangerfield, on a four-yard you know, run. Dangerfield is going to go pretty deep in the playoffs, but that right there, it, I know it right there, that hurts. But not too bad. They probably no. like Wascom. Yeah, we like them. Yeah, we like them. We're rooting for them against uh, some are. of the other teams. We are. Which other teams are we rooting against? Harm. We're rooting against Whoa, Harmony, Harmony and Four Dangerfield. We especially since last week. We have and to pick Gunter. one. You have to pick one because they're playing next yeah, week. We want to be. Oh, we are not good at that. Uh -huh. We are not good at that. No, the extra point was not was I, not good. Um, Kelton Williams. Kelton Williams attempted that one, and it was no good. Yeah. So that'll bring your score, uh, Dangerfield 7, Wascom 6. And we'll, Wascom happy to be on the board. And We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Ed Sports Center Designs at 310 North Washington in downtown Marshall proudly supports all school districts across East Texas, especially those here in Harrison County. With all kinds of sports apparel, they have everything you need to get ready for your team's big game. Whether it's hats, shirts, or custom-made letter jackets, they can do that for you and your student. They also have trophies, plaques, awards, and everything you might need to honor those from your district. It's Ed Sports Center Designs in downtown Marshall, formerly East Texas Sports Center. Has your vehicle been in an accident or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look? No matter which fits your situation, Auto Body Express of Marshall is here to get your vehicle back to its pre-accident condition. With a lifetime warranty on paint and body work, along with quick, friendly service during the repair, your experience will be second to none. Our state-of-the-art facility ensures the quickest and most reliable service to your vehicle so you get back on the road sooner and looking better than ever. Auto Body Express will assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair with updates while your vehicle is in our care. So whether you have a car, truck, or SUV, your friends at Auto Body Express will ensure you for quality auto repairs and no accidents. Back here live, Wascom, Texas, Jimmy Ecock Stadium. Nate Espy just got the Wascom Wildcats on the board after some good offense from all the Wildcats getting down there. Seven to six, Dangerfield is still up by one. Eight minutes, 45 seconds left in the half. Leo Agunda is set to kick off 21 for the Wascom Wildcats. Back at the 20, Dangerfield has number six. And number seven. So in three at the 40 and five. And they're going to onside kick and number two covers it. So danger for a takeover at the 49. That was six and one back at the 20. So the Wildcats, so we've done it last week and this week, our coverage, especially against Dangerfield, have been as uh, fast as they are. It's probably not a bad strategy just to try to get an extra possession. Wildcats weren't successful, so they'll come out here on defense. See if they can hold back this Dangerfield offense. So Gunner Hay, number 75. Abraham Terraza is number 53. Or, um, out there with Moses Agundez on the defensive line. Leo Agundez, linebacker. Landon Nolan. Nate Espy in the middle. They're going to give a sweep out of a motion. And ooh, who come up on that tackle? I'm not sure. 
That's uh, Nate Espy. Yeah, Nate's playing. Uh, I think that's Nate. Let's see if that number gets a little closer to my bad eyes. That's Nate Espy on the tackle. That looked good. That reminded me of someone of old there. Second down and 13. The Watson Wildcats have the defensive backs. Bubba Jones is uh, playing uh, on here on the left with Jace Calhoun. On the right side is Kelton Williams. He's looking right, does a screen, and he's got a pretty good pack of blockers. And, and he puts a move out there on us, and we're going to get him out of bounds there, number seven. But not after he picks up about 40 yards. They get them out in open space. It's hard to deal with uh, these danger field athletes, and it just gave me a thought right there. Oh, give you a thought. That gave me a thought there. Seven minutes, 58 seconds. Not a thought here for tonight, but a thought here for the next couple of weeks. Wildcats are down 76 to the Dangerfield Tigers. He rolls out right the quarterback for Dangerfield, and he's going to bring it down and try to run. He steps over a linebacker that slid down, and number zero is a big man, and he's going to get into the end zone. So a 12-yard touchdown. What, what's the Seven time? Seven minutes, 40 seconds left to play in the second quarter. And Dangerfield scores again. And they'll set up to kick the extra point. We'll be right back with some more Wasco Wildcat football. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Five Star Builders, the leader in barn construction and barn dominium construction, garage, storage buildings, all for you the way you want them. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, and we have the qualified men to do the job right for you. Check it out. Call 903-407-7627 to get a qualified representative to come speak to you. That's 407-7627. Go Wildcats. All right, back here live, Wascom, Texas. Dangerfield scored quickly. Um, number zero, the quarterback for Dangerfield, ran that one in, 12 yards run, 14 to six with the extra point by number 18 for Dangerfield. Wildcats come back out here with the kick return team, set to receive the kickoff. We're at seven minutes, 40 seconds left in the half. Wildcats have six guys up on the 50, a couple to four back at the 30, and one deep at the 10. Danger Fielder is in a three and four point stance. They're going to take off and they're going to kick it deep to the right side. It's going to bounce and be picked up at the five by Montez Thompson. Ooh, and Montez is a fast guy. But he cannot get around the edge mm -mm. of that. He's got to go straight with this group of uh, danger field. So there's going to be a bad position for the Wildcats down here at their own five-yard line. Seven minutes, 30 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Dangerfield 14, Wascom 6. Wascom on their own five-yard line. It was a Wildcat offense. Let's see if we can move the ball down here with seven minutes, 30 seconds and score and go into the half. That would be a good first half for the Wildcats. That would be excellent. Got this is tough. Tough foot at tough yard line to two, start on here. Two receivers out here at the left. Under center. He's going to get the snap and give it to the fullback, Nate Espy. Nate's going to go off on the right side, pick up three, you know, second down and seven. So Caleb's going to come over to the sidelines to the numbers in our 
officials nice to our coach because our coach is out there too and he's well outside the box of where to be. Got the play out to the huddle. Caleb Diaz is going to break the huddle. Got a receiver out wide to the left. Looks like we got a tight end in on the right side and a receiver in tight on the left. Motion left. And they're going to stuff us. Yeah, that was bad. Lost, it looks like yeah. a couple yards on that. It's always interesting to see that. I know how they draw that up, but we had a guard that's well out five or six yards down the line there. It's not touched anybody. Shows how quick Dangerfield is. They're coming up under the block. Going to make a third down and seven. Six minutes, 10 seconds and counting left to play now in the second quarter. Same formation. Caleb Bush under center. No motion, and we're going to do the same. And he keeps it. Caleb keeps it. Ooh. Good tackle. A good run by Caleb mm -hmm. Bush. Good tackle. It's good he held on to that because the safety came up mm -hmm. strong. Hey, look, they, they marked it a lot better there. Yeah, got a better. Oh, Go for it, coach. Go for it. Oh, that's tough. Uh, go yeah. for it there, Michael. Well, we just seen Dangerfield. It doesn't matter if you're at the one or the <laughs> ten. They're gonna fly down the field. <laughs> They're gonna probably score. Yeah, so from your your any odds. Spot, are, so just might as well. Yeah, you need to get the one. Okay. They're gonna do it. Same formation. Receiver out to the left. Motion right. They're gonna try to draw them off. They'll probably call a timeout and talk mm -hmm. about it. But yell out there and say you might as well. <laughs> I mean, we're one and whatever. And they're undefeated. <laughs> And they fly up and down the field at will. We're going to stay under. Good job. No no timeout. Motion left. Oh, I thought they had them on that one. Mm -hmm. They didn't move. Dangerfield is very disciplined. Take a timeout and see what the Wildcats do. What's the time here? Five minutes, one second. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back with some more Wasco Wildcat football. Atex Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Wascom Wildcat football. Atex Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. Atex Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from Atex Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Wascom Wildcats! Back here live, Wascom, Texas. Got some area scores. We got Gladewater over Atlanta, seven to zero. West Sabine over Joaquin, fourteen to six. Sabine over White Oak, fifteen to six. Queen City over Hugh Springs, twenty to zero. Timpson over Shelbyville, nineteen to zero. Tatum and Jefferson tied, seven to seven in the first quarter. New Diana eight, Legionville seven in the second quarter. Franklin seven over Cameron Yost. Zero. Beckville seven to zero over Harleton. All right, so the Wildcats are out of the timeout. They are setting up to go for the fourth and one. Two receivers out to the left. Motion left. And we had to bring in another offensive lineman because we had to switch out. And I don't think we're going to get it. I still like the call no matter what happens there. You know, we haven't seen a measurement, I don't think, in I, two years. Man, I, yeah, I don't think they, they don't use that anymore. Yeah, they don't measure. They just want it for looks. So the Wildcats got it. Okay, a Fathom Realty first down for your Wascom Wildcats. Marshall and Nacogdoches tied 7-7 seven to seven still in the first quarter, and Gilmer over Spring Hill 3-0 to zero in the first quarter. Oh, hey, look up. I'm going to have to do it on mine because I had it. I want to see if the 6 A started. Oh, I, was, I have that one. I thought I... I marked it for tonight on um, that Duncanville game. Let's see. Duncanville. Yeah, it's uh, delayed. They're in a game <sighs> delay, so it must be weather. Wildcats come out with two receivers still there. Four minutes, 26 seconds. Clock's moving 14 to 6 down to the Dangerfield Tigers. Under center, Caleb Bush motion, right? Give it to Nate. No, Nate didn't have it. We pitch it. Ooh, that pitch guy. They were all over the pitch guy. Mm -hmm. It was Duncanville and DeSoto was the game you were looking at, right? Yeah. I want to see. Yeah, I've got it. Marked, and it's got weather delay, I guess. Or it's a delay. I guess it's a weather delay. The Wildcats will have a second down and seven. They're in the huddle. Caleb Bush is trying to get the play. Yeah. 
We're going to break the huddle. Tight formation, flex bone. Receivers are in right off the tackle. Motion left, and we give it to the guy on the left, and Joe Irvin. Oh, good job, Joe. Good job. Mm -hmm. Joe's got some speed. Dangerfield's got the same speed in the come up and stopped him pretty well, but Joe was able to um, keep his feet. Number 11 there on the stop. But a good pickup for mm -hmm. the Wildcats, third and three. Three minutes, 28 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Dangerfield 14, Wascom 6. And Joe Irving, Wildcat fans, is a sophomore, and he is a very strong uh, running back. Mm -hmm. Nate Espy is a sophomore, very strong running back. Wascom Kelton Williams their, is a junior. junior. Wascom on their own 22-yard line. Flex bone formation. No, we got two receivers to right, one to the left, and we're going to throw a screen to the inside guy, Kelton Williams, and he's going to pick up. Oh, they're right at that line. Are we at the line, or it's past the line for a first? Let's see. Let's see what he does. Yep, first down. First down. Dude. Fathom yeah. Realty first down for Wasca Wildcats. Fathom Realty. Well, we have three minutes, three seconds, 14 and six Wasca's. Cats have gotten two tough first downs, folks. They're moving the ball, and they're doing well. They've moved the ball all night. They've been stopped once on downs. They scored once. Wasp now on their own 25-yard line, first and 10. Two minutes, 46 seconds left to play. Under center, tight, flex bone motion left. We're going to give it to the fullback, and the fullback. Oh, he found a hole there. He sure did. He made a hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he knocked our blocker over some, too. He can get the hole. A good run mm -hmm. and like I was saying we've had a tough season but it, your backs are young your offensive line we have one um, well we had two seniors or one went out with uh, injury well early in the season um, so really you've had a, a underclassman line except for one uh, senior gunner hay that's been out there holding it down for the seniors flex bone formation you know, second and five. Motion right, and we give it to Nate Espy. Man, those guys are all over in that inside, but he picks up a couple. Mm -hmm. And then the other lineman, Caleb Mann, is a sophomore, number 79. Aiden Corbett is the freshman that we just started a couple of weeks ago. And then Harley Martin, number 56, is a junior. Bring up third and three with a minute and 30 seconds left to play in the game. So Dang, every, every yard 14, for us. Wascom six. Have you noticed? You know we we we've done the old edit adage. You know two mm -hmm. and a half yards per down gets a first down. Where Dangerfield has just flown up and down the field. Flex bone. Caleb Bush gives it to Nate Espy, and Nate gets a big push and that, a first down. That's another Fathom Realty for Nate Espy. Fathom Realty helping our friends and neighbors meet their East Texas residential, commercial, farm, and ranch real estate needs. So Dangerfield, I, you know they. They are very fast and um, pretty good size. So it just speaks well of your Wascom Wildcats here, just being uh, very methodical and not as many mistakes as we've seen them do the previous weeks outside of last week. That was a good week last week, too, even though we got beat really good. That was Kelton. Picks up two. And did we call it? Oh, yeah, we're down to 48 seconds. Mm -hmm. We so we ran out. the clock down. We just not where we were wanting to be on the score. Yeah, but that's that's good. That we can move the ball. We got the ball at the. The longer we keep it out of their hands, the better. Because like you said, when they get the ball, it doesn't take them, you know, one or two plays. No matter where they're at on the field, they're gonna they're gonna score. So what it, we got the opening kickoff, correct? Yes. Oh, look! Just as I mentioned it, we then we get a penalty. Oh, we got a penalty. What do we do? I wonder. Holding. Oh, holding. Okay. So it's first and twenty. Well, that's a first seconds. holding call tonight, then. Yeah, first and twenty at the Wildcat twenty-nine. Those holding calls hurt. Yeah, they are big time trouble. Two receivers to the left. Caleb Bush under center. Got motion left, and we're gonna run. Up the middle. Who's calling timeout? Probably Dangerfield, right? No. Let's see what he says. Yep. Time no, the out. Tigers. Yeah. Timeout. So we'll timeout. take a quick break. 27 seconds left here. Walk some 
down 14-6 to the Tigers. Be right back with some more Watson Wildcat football. Atex Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Watscom Wildcat Football. Atex Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. Atex Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from Atex Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Watscom Wildcats! This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. Back here live, Wascom, Texas. Your Wascom Wildcats are down 14 to 6 to the Dangerfield Tigers. 27 seconds left in the half. Second down and a long ways for the Wildcats. Two receivers over to the right. Bush is under center. Motion right. Kelton Williams, and we're going to do a B back counter left. And Nate breaks off that first initial tackle and it gets tackled on the edge. Yep. So how many seconds we got left for now? 21 seconds. Wascom down 14 to 6. Third and 18. Third and 18. And we didn't run no clock or they called a timeout again, huh? Must have. So how many they got? Well, they, they need to mark it off so we have one timeout left. Mm -hmm. Dangerfield would have one and we have three. Yeah. So we will... Um, stay here because we're right here at the half. We got all the bands and halftime entertainment tonight. I think the little cheerleaders are here with the, I don't know if they're performing at halftime or not, but both schools have dance lines and bands. So we'll bring you some halftime entertainment in 21 seconds. They're going to come out of this timeout. The Wildcats have a third and long. Thank you, KMHT and our sponsors, for allowing us to bring you this game. 96.9 FM. 1450 AM. And on YouTube at Wascom Football Live. Wildcats, to be exact, is third down and... No, oh, now it's third and 21. Well, I don't know how that's that, but it is. Motion left, and we're going to pitch it to Kelton Williams. He's going to go on the right side, and he's going to pick up two. And they'll call timeout again. 15 seconds now left to play, and then bring up fourth down. We need to punt it this time for sure. We're just trying to get out of this half without them scoring. Mm -hmm. I heard a male punt team in here, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, somebody said go punt team. So the Wildcats getting set to punt. Need a good punt. Yeah, we need to punt it as far as we can. I hope the mm -hmm. snap goes well. Yes. Harley Martin's a long snapper, too, so he's getting ready. He's warming his arms up. <laughs> and then we need to be ready to get back there and hopefully stop them. Stop them. 15 seconds is plenty of time for them to score for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we got to come out here. Get a good hold, go in 14 to 6 at the half. It'll be a tough challenge for the Wildcats. They come out here uh, in their punt team. 22, Nate Espy will be punting the ball. And Dangerfield will put a return man back here. If punter is at the 20 for the Wildcats, the return man's at the 45 for the Tigers. And they will probably come at it, and they do. They get close to it. Did we get it? Oh, man. Where'd it go out of bounds at? Looks like we get a good spot there. It's going to be at the 49 of the Tigers. Had a big rush on it. And now there's nine seconds left on the clock. <laughs> Dangerfield 14, Wascom 6. 
almost halftime. They're going to air it out. They're going to air it out. I also got to watch Michael the screen. Says. Gotta watch the screen with these guys. They just like to get it in play. No, it's at the Wildcat 47. Okay, Wildcat 47. They'll be in the pistol formation. Spread. Two receivers out wide on each side. Nope. Uh, they get a false start. I don't know what they got. Let's see here. Yep. No, we call a timeout. Oh, we call a timeout. Oh, yeah, we're going to use We got three of them. Right, so <laughs> we'll take a quick break now. We'll be right back with the end of the first half. The Wascom Independent School District, a leader in educating athletic, extracurricular activities, educating our children to be good citizens, but also they can attend major universities and come back home with an education to grow the community in East Texas. This school is a proud Wildcat supporter throughout the year. Go Wildcats! All right, we're back here live. Wascom, Texas. Nine seconds left in the half. Dangerfield has first and 10 at the Wildcat 47. Dangerfield up 14 to 6 over the Wildcats. So the Wildcats just want to see what kind of offensive set Dangerfield had and call a timeout. We've got number 44 in there for the Wildcats at defensive line. Ty Moore. Theo Agundes up there with Moses Agundes. Then we got four guys about five yards off the ball and then four more guys at the 30. And that'll be a tackling drill. We get a little bit of rush and he throws it over the middle. Pick. Oh, we dropped the pick. <laughs> Oh, Two seconds. Picked off. Two seconds left. But that was our freshman Montez Thompson. So yeah, yeah. Montez's been doing good. He's been playing. One of our favorite freshmen to watch. Yeah, he's going to be a really good athlete. With as two well. seconds, wow. And we needed that one, but maybe we can get one a little over on the edge on one of these faster running backs, like old Joe. Maybe could take it back. I'm going to have to get on our clock, people. They couldn't take two, get two seconds. I think they're working it pretty good, though. <laughs> Pistol formation with that spread. He's going to look and do that screen. They just want to get in their hands. Oh, we got our hands on him at oh. the line. Somebody get a tackle. Somebody get a tackle. Grab him. <laughs> no one wants to hit anymore. Oh, okay. We stopped him. We got at it. At the 10, 15. And We're going folks, into it. It's yep. halftime. Dangerfield 14, Wascom 6. And we'll bring you some halftime entertainment here at Jimmy E. Cox Stadium. Hey, Wildcat fans. This is Josh Manus, attorney at law. Let's all support the Wildcats for a great season every Friday night. Hopefully, we'll have a long playoff season as well. If you ever need a personal injury attorney, check us out at joshmanus.com. No longer do you need to call anyone in Dallas or Tyler. Since January 1 of this year, We've had over $10 million in verdicts and settlements. Check out our website at joshmanus.com. Ed Sports Center Designs at 310 North Washington in downtown Marshall proudly supports all school districts across East Texas, especially those here in Harrison County. With all kinds of sports apparel, they have everything you need to get ready for your team's big game. Whether it's hats, shirts, or custom-made letter jackets, they can do that for you and your students. They also have trophies, plaques, awards, and everything you might need to honor those from your district. It's Ed Sports Center Designs in downtown Marshall, formerly East Texas Sports Center. Has your vehicle been in an accident or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look? No matter which fits your situation, Auto Body Express of Marshall is here to get your vehicle back to its pre-accident condition. With a lifetime warranty on paint and body work, along with quick, friendly service during the repair, your experience will be second to none. Our state-of-the-art facility ensures the quickest and most reliable service to your vehicle so you get back on the road sooner and looking better than ever. Auto Body Express will assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair with updates while your vehicle is in our care. So whether you have a car, truck, or SUV, your friends at Auto Body Express will ensure you for quality auto repairs and no accidents. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Babbitt Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at mavericchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Five Star Builders, the leader 
working in barn construction and barn dominium construction, garage, storage buildings, all for you the way you want them. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, and we have the qualified men to do the job right for you. Check it out. Call 903-407-7627 to get a qualified representative to come speak to you. That's 407-7627. Go Wildcats. All right, we're at, here at halftime at Wascom Stadium. Wascom's down to the Tigers, 14 to 6. We're brought here uh, for the, some of the halftime show. Dangerfield Tiger Dance Team. Good performance by them. We'll go to our sponsors and be back with some more of the halftime festivities. ATEX Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Watscom Wildcat Football. ATEX Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. ATEX Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from ATEX Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Watscom Wildcats! ATEX Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is... This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. The Wascom Independent School District, a leader in educating athletics, extracurricular activities, educating our children to be good citizens, but also they can attend major universities and come back home with an education to grow the community in East Texas. This school is a proud Wildcat supporter throughout the year. Go Wildcats! All right, back here at Wascom. It's halftime between the Wascom Wildcats and the Dangerfield Tigers. Where the Dangerfield Tiger band is out on the field, we'll go out there and listen to some of their performance. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
is the Danger Fuel Tiger Van. We're going to see what the um, next performance will be. It looks like they're going to readjust and play another song. And the Wildcat Band is here on the sideline with their dance team uh, waiting their uh, opportunity to perform. It's 20 minutes and 40 seconds. We'll have a quick first half wrap up and then we'll go back out to the field. Um, come out here in the first quarter, the Wildcats got the ball and they drove down. I think on the third possession they were stopped on fourth and one or it was fourth and four and they they were short by one. Dangerfield took over and then just with um, a little less than three minutes left in the first quarter, 32 yard pass from zero to number five for the Tigers. Number 18 kicked the extra point. They went up 7-0 to zero over the Wildcats. Then we came back out in the second quarter. Um, the Wildcats moved the ball down with about 8 minutes, 45 seconds left in the second quarter. They um, score with Nate Espy, number 22, four-yard run. We mixed the kick, and it went 6-7. to seven. Dangerfield still on top. Then in the second quarter, just seven minutes, 40 seconds, um, it took a danger for just about a minute to drive down, and they threw a pass, a couple of passes, and then the quarterback number zero ran in a 12-yard run, and they made their extra point kick. And that's where we're at, folks, 14-6. to six. The Wildcats had the ball at seven minutes, 40 seconds at their five, and they ran the ball, or they ran, got the ball to about the their 38 or so. Only had 20 seconds. Dangerfield called timeouts. We ended up punting. Dangerfield had 12 seconds and got a couple of plays off. And the Wildcats tackled them at the 15. And that's where we're at, 14-6. to six. The Wildcats having a good first half against the eighth-ranked um, undefeated Dangerfield Tigers in district. Uh, the, the district championship will be played next week between Dangerfield and the Harmony. And so I hope the Wildcats come out here in the second half and keep it close. Have a good showing here at their last home game. And then next week we'll go to Hugh Springs for our final game against the Hugh Springs Mustangs. Let's go out to the field and hear what that Dangerfield band has to offer. <laughs> Great job by the Dangerfield Tiger High School Band. They will uh, make their way off of the field as the Wildcats will be prepared to come out and do their performance. We are down to 16 minutes in the left in halftime. We'll have our dance team come out and perform first for the Wascom High School and then the band. We'll be right back with some more halftime entertainment. Hey Wildcat fans, this is Josh Manus, attorney at law. 
Let's all support the Wildcats for a great season every Friday night. Hopefully we'll have a long playoff season as well. If you ever need a personal injury attorney, check us out at joshmanus.com. No longer do you need to call anyone in Dallas or Tyler. Since January 1 of this year, we've had over $10 million in verdicts and settlements. Check out our website at joshmanus.com. Ed Sports Center Designs at 310 North Washington in downtown Marshall proudly supports all school districts across East Texas, especially those here in Harrison County. With all kinds of sports apparel, they have everything you need to get ready for your team's big game. Whether it's hats, shirts, or custom-made letter jackets, they can do that for you and your students. They also have trophies, plaques, awards, and everything you might need to honor those from your district. It's Ed Sports Center Designs in downtown Marshall, formerly East Texas Sports Center. Has your vehicle been... Christina Seacott. Junior Lieutenant Riley Oney. Senior Kendall Mann. Senior Captain Tori Well. Sophomore Paisley White. Your bells are under the direction of Elise Thomas and Nikki Wynn. We hope you enjoy tonight's show to the performance of the band version of Toxic. Or it could be Country Girls, I was told. the Wasman High School Bales dance team. And that was real cute. I don't think I've seen that routine that this year. That was really cute. They did a good job, and so did the Dangerfield dance line. They did a great job, too. I always enjoy watching those dance lines. So now the Wildcat Band will come out and get uh, set up on the field to perform for you their halftime show with just under 12 minutes. Are they going to do the show tonight? You know, last week they didn't do the show. They just played some different music. But so I don't know if they're going to actually do the show. Or they're lining up, which last week they didn't. Yeah, so, that's true. So, and it being the last home game in senior night, you know, a lot of them were in the senior night as well. So we'll go out and listen to uh, the Wascom Wildcat High School Band. On October 17th, the band went to the UIL marching contest and came home with an excellent rating. Congratulations, band. We are very proud of you. Your band tonight is under the direction of Jeremy Gressman. 
Daniel Barber. The drum instructor is Hannah LeBlanc. Color guard instructor, Tabitha Higginbotham. And let's hear it for senior drum major, Lizzie Croyle. Sections of the week tonight are flutes, clarinet, saxophones, trumpets, trombones, baritones, tubas, percussion, color guard, and the band-aids. The performers of the week this week, your 23-24 senior class. And tonight, we will be performing the UI contest show titled Live It Up at Mardi Gras. The run of this show is dedicated to our seniors. We love you and appreciate all of your hard work you have put into the band over the years. band's first song and I think they'll play us another song we're getting down to the end of the halftime Dangerfield's already in the south the end zone warming up eight minutes left in the half we'll go back out and see what the Wascom band has for us An amazing Grace by the Wascom Wildcat High School Band. And with, on that note, after the game, there's a fifth quarter at First Baptist fifth Church. Fifth quarter Wascom. at First Baptist Church of Wascom. I believe that lasts until midnight for all um, students. Is it seventh grade through twelfth grade, I, I think believe. It's sixth grade. Is it sixth grade? Yeah, sixth grade. Through. Sixth through twelfth grade. Yep. They'll have uh, food, games, and a short devotional. 
So six minutes here left in the half. So <clears throat> last week it was similar. We um, held in with Harmony there in the first half, and then we got blown out in the second half. So we're hoping that we see something different tonight, you know, a little bit a little bit better. Um, Let me ask you this. From what from we've seen tonight now from Dangerfield in the first half and compared to Harmony last week, what are you thinking uh, in that game next week? Um, I think it's going to be a battle. It seems like Harmony has uh, a bigger, stronger team up front so far because, you know, we had a lot harder time. I mean, we're having a hard time with Dangerfield's defense. Don't get me wrong. We're mm -hmm. getting a few plays at a time. But Danger uh, Harmony was more successful on getting us off the field in those short. We, we couldn't um, get any short running plays. Against them in yeah. the middle. They were bigger and seemed to be stronger. But Dangerfield speed, um, that's what we'll see in the second half. It almost seems like they kind of are just toying with us a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, it seems like they're, um, you know, because on offense, they're just doing that at ease. Mm -hmm. But, you know, our biggest, I think, success tonight has been uh, the amount of time we've been able to spend on the field in offense. Yeah. Well, and two, you know, we, we uh, don't know, and we, we've seen on some of the posts, you know, Dangerfield may be playing some different players because next week is the big week. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we don't have a roster, so we don't know yeah. if they're I playing. I know they're, or... you know, probably their their backs and all are probably pretty similar, but they could have some different defensive guys out there and some other players that are taking on some of the um, work this week preparing for the district championship showdown for um, our district. We got some area score updates before we get into the second half. Yeah, we can. Oh. And we did see that that Duncanville game Michael was interested in has been postponed due to weather. They're going to play tomorrow at two o'clock. So that game is or won't won't be until tomorrow. Gladewater over Atlanta at the halftime, fourteen to zero. West Sabina Joaquin tied at fourteen. Sabine over White Oak, twenty eight to twelve. Queen City over Hugh Springs, twenty to zero. Timpson over Shelbyville, 25 to 0. Tatum and Jefferson tied at 14. New Diana still 8. Elysianville still 7. That game's been that since the first quarter, and they have a few minutes left to play in the second quarter. Let's see. West Rust over Quitman, 14 to 0. Beckville over Harleton, 14 to 0. Frankston over Orr City, 27 to 0. Marshall over Nacogdoches, 21 to 7. And Gilmer over Spring Hill, 10 to 7. So the Wildcats are on the field warming up in the north end zone. Dangerfield's already, already come through their tunnel, and they're on the sideline. The Wascom High School Band was finishing up some last-minute um, presentations for their seniors. And now they're making their way off the field. We got uh, just under three minutes before the second half kickoff. And we'll go um, to our sponsors, and we'll be right back with the start of the second half here between your Wascom Wildcats and the Dangerfield Tigers. An accident or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look? No matter which fits your situation, Auto Body Express of Marshall is here to get your vehicle back to its pre-accident condition. With a lifetime warranty on paint and body work, along with quick, friendly service during the repair, your experience will be second to none. Our state-of-the-art facility ensures the quickest and most reliable service of your vehicle so you get back on the road sooner and looking better than ever. Auto Body Express will assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair with updates while your vehicle is in our care. Whether you have a car, truck, or SUV, your friends at Auto Body Express will ensure you for quality auto repairs and no accidents. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit us. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Back here live, Wascom, Texas. Second half kickoff tonight is brought to you by Maverick Automotive and Exhaust, a custom exhaust shop. Leading the way in custom muffler and exhaust work. Over 20 years experience in exhaust pipe bending. Specializing in hot rods and muscle cars, there is no pre-bent pipe in their shop. So there's the Wildcats out on the field. 
player of the game will be brought to you by Fire and Dice Game Center in Marshall, your one-stop shop for fun. And post-game tonight brought to you by Casey Sloan Construction. With over 25 years of experience, Casey Sloan Construction knows the difference between getting it done and getting it done right. Call 903-503-3733. Thank you to all our sponsors and KMHT for allowing us to bring you this game tonight. Got some of the young flag players down there. They come out. Uh, in the spirit line with the Wildcats. The booster team's out there trying to get the tunnel out of the end zone with 35 seconds left, and Dangerfield is on the field. They are ready. They're they will, ready. They, they get probably the ball have a place first. to go eat. They probably want to go eat. If they get the ball first in the second half, and they were ready to get their hands on that ball again. That's why um, offense, their offense is itching. Need to get to Marshall to get something to eat. Our, our place is probably going to be closed. When they leave here. Mm -hmm. No Andy's Custer tonight when we're at home at Wascombe, but at least our house is just right up the road. Wildcats kickoff team is over here uh, getting in the huddle with the coach. And the officials are now making their way into position, taking the ball out to Leo Agundez, number 21, who will kick off for the Wildcats. 14-6 to six here at the start of the second half. Dangerfield up over Wascombe. Dangerfield gets the ball first in the second half. Are there, um, looks like the coaches are over there in that box, don't it? They may be. Maybe that's why we didn't get a roster. They didn't come over here. Yeah. Look, they're, yeah, they're cleaning their uh, window, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever goes over there. Usually they come over here and go upstairs. Yeah. So the Wildcats set to kick. Dangerfield set to receive, and they're going to onside kick it. It hits here at the man at the 50, and he covers it well, number 21. Wildcats trying to scuffle it away. It's actually number 20. Wildcats come up with it, but I believe they called him down. Number 20. It's a kick return, man, but the Wildcats are still holding to the fact that we had the ball. Let's see what happens here. I couldn't tell. Well, it looked like he, you know, it went to him, and sometimes it rolls around and stuff before you actually get possession. Mm. The officials are very uh, slow to signal. Make, yeah, signal that. Looks like we're re-kicking. They're going to say maybe it didn't go. Or we were off sides. Okay. Let's see. Let me just say. So we are have no uh, we'll yeah. start over here from scratch. Yeah. 12 minutes on the clock for the start of the third quarter. Wascombe's down 14 to 6 to the Dangerfield Tigers. No, I, th I think they're it's saying, it, yeah, that it did maybe didn't go. Yeah. I never know. Ten uh, yards, so they marked. They gave him a, a five yards. Five yards. So Dangerfield gets the ball at the Wascom forty-five yard line. Yeah. Now here comes the Wildcat. First defense. and ten. Number zero is the quarterback. He's in the shotgun with three receivers left, one right. You have his fullback behind him in the pistol formation. What's this one? We'll get to start here of the second half. Gets the snap and he gives it to his fullback and he goes, picks up about one before he stopped. They, they actually spot this guy spotted him better than he was at. Second down and nine for Dangerfield. Stopped by number 21, Leo Agundes. They'll stay with the three receivers left and one right. Now the fullback's on the left side of the quarterback. He'll call for the snaps. Those the screen. The screen has been trouble for us all night, and it is again. Mm -hmm. And he's out in front, and he's going to do a few little moves, and he's not going to get in the end zone, but he's inside the five. That just seems like it'd be easier to defend, but their uh, their block uh, blocking is. Really excellent, but that player is just very elusive. So just that quick. That quick. 11 minutes, 15 seconds left to 
play in the third quarter. And Dangerfield on and the scoring position, and yeah. they're going to run it up the middle and score into the end zone. What number is that? The three. If the ball's on the three, ball is on the three. That leaves 11 minutes, 11 seconds left to play in the third quarter. That makes the score 20 to six, Dangerfield, and Dangerfield will set up for their extra point. But you didn't catch. You ran it in. Huh? Mm -mm. So we'll be right back for some more Wasco Wildcat football. Five Star Builders, the leader in barn construction and barn dominium construction, garage, storage buildings, all for you the way you want them. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, and we have the qualified men to do the job right for you. Check it out. Call 903-407-7627 to get a qualified representative to come speak to you. That's 407-7627. Go Wildcat. Five Star Builders, the leader in barn construction. ATEX Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Watscombe Wildcat football. ATEX Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guard, and the cheerleaders 100%. ATEX Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from ATEX Telephone Cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Watscombe Wildcats! This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> The Wascom Independent School District, a leader in educating athletics, extracurricular activities, educating our children to be good citizens, but also they can attend major universities and come back home with an education to grow the community in East Texas. This school is a proud Wildcat supporter throughout the year. Go Wildcats! All right, back here, Wascom, Texas. Dangerfield just scored again on the Wildcats. 21-6, to 6, Dangerfield is up over the Wildcats. 11 minutes, 11 seconds. They'll get set to kick back to the Wildcats, see if their offense can get uh, down here and get a score. Now Dangerfield is leisurely coming out on the field, so they were very quick to get on after the half. And they, no, they, they don't like kicking off. They like receiving. They like receiving. That's their thing. So, so we had uh, a penalty during the extra point. And so personal uh, or unsportsmanlike conduct. And so they'll get the kick from the Wildcat 45. Oh, dang. That's no good. No, not good at all. So let's see. They try to do a little ten yard kick or punch it down there to the end zone. Dangerfield has two guys out wide on the numbers on each side and they're gonna kick it right here up high. It's gonna come down at the twenty three fair catch. And now we got another penalty. Ah oh, dang. What's that one? I don't know. Where's the flag? Where's the flag? Oh, here it came from this guy, so it must be off, it must be against Dangerfield. It looks like maybe it was offsides. I don't know. So they kicked a high pooch kick to the left. Billy likes that word. And mm -hmm. then Nate Espy caught it in a fair catch at the twenty-four. And we're waiting to see. If there was, in fact, a penalty. Let's see what the White Hat says. Yeah, they, they called it legal motion against Dangerfield. And they will move us down the field just a little. So that helps us somewhat since we had got ourselves in a bind with the uh, 
penalty, them kicking at our 45. Now the danger field coach is questioning. Yeah, questioning the call. And so we're we're held up here with the officials trying to get control of the game. Mm -hmm. Eleven minutes, eleven seconds. Wascombe has six. Dangerfield has twenty-one. And that's a measly little five yards. So a lot of time for not very much reward. The Wildcats will take over. First and 10 at the 29, their own 29. 11 minutes, 11 seconds left to play. Dangerfield 21, Wascom 6. Wildcats will have a bunch formation on the left side. Motion right, Joe Irving. And we're going to counter left with a fullback. We'll pick up three for the Wildcats. We had any, I guess our biggest run has been 14 and 12 yards. We had a mm -hmm. couple. I think Kelton had a big run. Joe had one. Or, you know, that's the longest run. Each mm -hmm. one had those. The other's just been just two to five. Nibbling. Just nibbling at it. Yeah. Which I know it's been driving Dangerfield crazy because every time they get it, they're, you know, in a hurry to get the score. Wildcats are have two receivers on the left side. Caleb pushes under center. We're going to motion left in that jet motion, and there's that. I just don't like that play. What is that? That's where they jet across and then give it under to the fullback, mm. and it's it's done nothing absolutely all year. I don't think I've ever seen it do much of anything. It seems like it's harder to pull off for the offense. Mm -hmm. And he got no no gain. I give a, a shout out to Mr. Gillard for bringing a box fan up to the Press box, it's a little bit cooler now. Yeah, it helps out just, just having help. airflow. Yeah, because it was really stuffy without no, without that air conditioner. Well, the Wildcats, they're going to take their time. With the third down and six, nine minutes, 43 seconds, clock's moving. Caleb Bush is now under center. We'll motion right and give it to Kelton Williams. And he, he has to jump a pile. Well, that's some good moves there because he, he even stayed got, on his yeah. feet after that. Mm hmm. And he's going to be just shy of the first down. we will bring a fourth down and one. But it was um, it was on the right hash over on the Dangerfield side. But it mm -hmm. clock still moving with nine minutes, fifteen seconds left to play. And again, Dangerfield twenty-one, Wascom six. Caleb Bush is bringing a play in from the sidelines. Wascom on their own thirty-eight yard line, fourth and one. You think they're going to try to? I know we're going to try to pull them off, but Dangerfield has not. No, they won't moved. bite. I don't think they're going to jump. I wish somebody would jump over there. Somebody's got to be antsy. It'd we're in a tight formation. It'll probably be us. <laughs> Motion left, and there we did get a penalty. Or we got a timeout, right? Yeah. Timeout by Wascom. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Hey, Wildcat fans. This is Josh Manus, attorney at law. Let's all support the Wildcats for a great season every Friday night. Hopefully we'll have a long playoff season as well. If you ever need a personal injury attorney, check us out at joshmanus.com. No longer do you need to call anyone in Dallas or Tyler. Since January 1 of this year, we've had over $10 million in verdicts and settlements. Check out our website at joshmanus.com. Ed Sports Center Designs at 310 North Washington in downtown Marshall proudly supports all school districts across East Texas, especially those here in Harrison County. With all kinds of sports apparel, they have everything you need to get ready for your team's big game. Whether it's hats, shirts, or custom-made letter jackets, they can do that for you and your student. They also have trophies, plaques, awards, and everything you might need to honor those from your district. It's Ed Sports Center Designs in downtown Marshall, formerly East Texas Sports Center. All right, back here live, Wascom, Texas. Wildcats have a fourth and one. They got that bunch formation on the left side. No motion. We're going to pitch it to Nate Espy, and he's got to jump. Throw, and he didn't get it. Oh, he was close. You know, every time you jump, though, you put yourself in a position of yeah. vulnerability, and they got stopped. That's okay. Good try. Um, but, yeah, we had to do it. Mm -hmm. Just, 
one yard. We got to get downfield. We try to get over here. Not a bad play call. Just the good defense by Dangerfield. Mm -hmm. Oh, now here comes Dangerfield Tigers with eight minutes forty seconds up twenty one to six. You know, and those turnover on downs have been one yard. You know, we missed the one yarder. That's kind of what happened to us with Harmony too. Three Eight. receivers left, one right. Number zero will call for the snap, and he gives it to his fullback that will go left. He'll pick up five. Bring up a second down of five for the Dangerfield Tigers. Eight minutes, 30 seconds and counting left to play in the third quarter. Dangerfield 21, Wascom 6. Dangerfield will get set. Quarterback has them in the... Spread, two receivers out on each side. His fullback's on the right side. Call for the snap. And he's looking to pass, and he evades the rush by Abraham Terrazas, and then he just runs over a few people and does some spins, and Ooh, he, he's going to get down to the four. Well, I thought he was going to be in the end zone there. Of course, he, he was almost in the end zone. Well, I'm glad he didn't, because it's easier for me to write down when they're just like... <laughs> <laughs> easier for your stats when they yeah, score yeah. from uh, the five or, Four five or, or less. whatever. So I guess number is, who's the fullback? Is that one right there? Yeah, or eleven. The back. So he's the one that scored the last one. So we'll put him down. Yeah. Quarterback's going to give it to him again. He's going to go off tackle on the left. He's going to get a penalty <laughs> flag. I think it may be against the offense. See, that was from the five-yard line. Without the penalty, he scored. But let's see what happens. Well, I don't know what the flag is. It's over on the Dangerfield side of the okay. field. Be holding. So they'll bring that back for Dangerfield. So to bring a second, our first down and goal now from the 15. That's uh, only the second holding call we've seen. Well, it's one for us and one for them. Mm -hmm. The ball's at the 13-yard line. So they, they were at the three. So first down and goal at the 13. They have three receivers right, and they're probably looking at that screen because we have uh, one to the left, and he's going to look to the left. He's going to do a corner route, and the receiver didn't see it, and we intercepted in the end zone, and we're going to run it out. And Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Good interception, so... I think it surprised us on the interception. I think it did. I think he almost thought. Well, what am I doing? What's going on? Yeah. So yeah. did you see that? It was yeah. like a hesitation. Like Joe Irving is the uh, defender that received it. Probably should have just took a knee. Because like, now we'll take the ball at the yeah. ten. Like, can I run? What do I do here? In the corner. Okay. So, but if you do that, it's not a safety. Not if you catch it in there. You just can't okay. go out and come go back in. Okay. So now we'll be at the ten instead of the twenty. 25. Um, but that's good for the Wildcats. We, mm -hmm. we held danger for the first time tonight with an interception. Have two receivers out to the left. We've been in some deep field uh, position. Yeah, we don't do as well from uh -uh. this deep field position. Seven minutes, 15 seconds and counting left to play in the third quarter. Three yard pickup by Nate Espy. Second down is seven. Coming to you from KMHT, 96.9 FM, 14 point, 1430. 50. 1450. 1450 AM. And Wascom Football Live on YouTube. So Caleb Bush is getting the play from the sideline. He's coming back over into the field of play to the huddle. The huddle is six yards off the ball. Now they'll break the huddle. The ball's on the seven. Ball's on the 13. Excuse me. Second down and seven. Two receivers left. Under center. Motion right. And good head of steam. We're going to pick up about six. So here we are. <laughs> Third and one. So that's better than fourth and one. Well, better than fourth and one. But I feel we've been here before. Yeah. I, know. I think we've had the third and four or fives. We. We should be able to get this one as long as we don't get um, something behind the line of scrimmage. Look, they're up in the box, but we're going to quarterback sneak. And we don't have the um, 
Jalen Hurts back there. Yeah, Jalen Hurts. Or the Tush Push. And look, they stopped us. No, did they they switch in the I digital? I think they're giving to, okay. It's a fathom realty first down for the Wildcats. Yeah, on a quarterback sneak. On a quarterback sneak. J.J. Watt says those are hard to stop. What's this? <laughs> Every time like you miss seconds. it. Like two seconds. That's Miss uh, Miss Patty over there playing her music on the new scoreboard. Okay. Five minutes and 27 seconds and counting to go in the third quarter. Dangerfield 21, Wascombe 6. I'd like to see another score by the Wildcats. Got two receivers come out here to the left. Jackson Hip, Hicks, Jace Calhoun, a motion left. And we pitch it, and we got a little room. We got a block, and Joe or Kelton, no. one or the other. Oh, now we're going to get us a penalty. That's oh. a good play. That was Bubba Jones. That was Bubba Jones. I lost him on the camera. Sorry about that, folks. Maybe it was a face mask. I see. That would sure be helpful to that run. That was a good run by Bubba Jones. A good play in first and ten. We picked up 15. Yeah, if the penalty is not against us, it would be a first down. A fathom realty first down, uh, but I'm not sure. It's against us. Okay. So it goes back. But it was at the spot. It's right at the end when we got tackled. Something with that. So right when we were getting tackled, we hold, and so we're going to have a second down and five. I think um, our running back, he wasn't sure he had so much uh, space. It threw him off because Dangerfield has been all over the pitch man tonight. He wasn't sure to go in or out, cut in or cut out. Yeah, he should have turned the gas on. When you get out there like that, if you've got some speed, you just need to run f as fast as you can and make the defense close the gaps. Four minutes, 45 seconds. Two receivers left. Motion right. Didn't give it to Nate SBM. We pitched to the – oh, no, please. Gosh. Now we fumble, folks, oh. on the pitch. So we turn it back over. Okay. And that's first turnover tonight by Wascom. Man. So that Dangerfield defense has our backs looking up a little early. So they'll take over first and 10 at the Wildcat 25. So – we used some clock up there and got them back off yeah. that three-yard line. Would have been nice to hold on to that ball a little longer. but Yeah, I think we, we, we had something going, but when you can't hang on to the ball, that certainly puts the end to that. But that was first turnover tonight, so. It's one-to-one -one on turnovers, one-to-one -one on holes. No, two-to-one. We just got our second hole. Dangerfield's number zero come back out here um, to run his offense. They're going to be on the left hash on the Dangerfield side. They're going north to south now here in the second half. Gets the snap, gives it to his fullback, and he goes up the middle, and he pulls a couple of guys 15 yards to the 10, first and 10. Number one on the carry for Dangerfield. Got four minutes, 25 seconds left to play now in the third quarter. Again, Dangerfield 21, Wascom 6, but Dangerfield knocking on the door again. Two receivers out wide each side. Number zero's calling for the snap. Gives it to his fullback, and he goes back in that same left side hole when he's in. He is in for a touchdown so the from time? the 11-yard line. Four minutes, three seconds left in the third quarter. 11-yard touchdown run, and Dangerfield will set up for the extra point. We'll be back for some more Wascom Wildcat football. Has your vehicle been in an accident or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look? No matter which fits your situation. Auto Body Express of Marshall is here to get your vehicle back to its pre-accident condition. With a lifetime warranty on paint and body work, along with quick, friendly service during the repair, your experience will be second to none. Our state-of-the-art facility ensures the quickest and most reliable service to your vehicle so you get back on the road sooner and looking better than ever. Auto Body Express will assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair with updates while your vehicle is in our care. So whether you have a car, truck, or SUV, your friends at Auto Body Express are going to ensure you for quality auto repairs with no accidents. Has your vehicle been in an accident or in need of a little TLC to get back to that original look? No matter which fits your situation, Auto Body Express of Marshall is... This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. 
Five Star Builders, the leader in barn construction and barn dominium construction, garage, storage buildings, all for you the way you want them. We have the experience, we have the knowledge, and we have the qualified men to do the job right for you. Check it out. Call 903-407-7627 to get a qualified representative to come speak to you. That's 407-7627. Go Wildcats. Back here in Wascom, Wascom now is falling down 28 to 6 to the Davenport Tigers. They'll set to receive the kickoff from number 18. They did make the extra point. Number 18 has been successful on all of his extra point attempts tonight. Four for four. 28 to 6. Wildcats await for Dangerfield to get set up to see what they plan to do on the kickoff. Well, space out this time across the 35. Wildcats will spread out. It'll be a high kick, a fair catch at the 26. So Kirkland Williams takes a fair catch at the 26. Wildcats come out here first and 10. Four minutes left to play in the third quarter. Game going much faster than last week. That game was so slow. What time was it? 8.52? Mm -hmm. Wasn't it like almost 9 at halftime? I don't remember. Last week. It was week. slow, though. Hey, look, they got, they're doing the, the lights over there. Mm -hmm. One light. <laughs> Yeah, Dangerfield has a good crowd, brought a good crowd with them tonight. And they have a large band. Yeah. Well, they're a kind of a large 3A, aren't they? They, they have a, a, a pretty good Well, we'll find out here in February. Give it to our fullback, and he's going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, so uh, this past week was snapshot week for UIL, where they take the counts and decide where everybody's going to be for the next year. And, but we don't find out the results of that until February. Yeah, I believe so. Well, Wildcats leaves a couple. will be second down and 12. What do they call that? Realignment? Is that what they call that? Yeah. So we'll have a new district next year. Maybe even a new division. Two receivers to the right. Well, motion right. I'm going to pitch it right over. That guy's all the way in the backfield. Bring up a third down and 13. Well, what we're afraid of is happening, and it's probably going to continue to happen to the end of the game. So we'll just see what I'd like another, comes up I'd like to see another with. pass. Yeah. Oh. So we're... Three minutes here left in the third quarter, 28 to 6. Danger field on top. Moscow on their own 24 yard line, third and 13. Wildcats breaking the huddle. Under center, motion right. And Joe's going to look back at the quarterback and it, was, it had an option. Oh, almost caught there. It's good mm -hmm. coverage. Oh, but Jones attempting to catch it at the 45. Now the Wildcats will punt. I think it was going to go back to the quarterback, but Dangerfield. Uh, had him covered. Yeah, had him covered. Was, they said they seen that play. Yeah, and Joe did a good job of not getting just throwing it and getting it mm -hmm. picked. So... Not able to move the ball now against Dangerfield. They didn't um, come out and stop us here in the second Shut half. Shut us down. Fourth down punt team will come out for Wascom. Two minutes, 35 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Dangerfield on top, 28 to 6. Nate Espy gets a pretty decent kick. They're trying to keep it away from Dangerfield. Mm -hmm. See where it goes out of bounds. It's at the 46. Dangerfield to take over first and 10. So 
will be in Hugh Springs next week for our final district game. Hugh Springs Mustangs. Here comes the Dangerfield offense. Number zero leading as quarterback. He'll have three receivers to the right and have that one out to the left. They're on the left hash. Gets the snap and he's looking to right. He looks at that screen and he gets somebody there. He gets a hold of him and then somebody else and he breaks loose. Too much grabbing. Yeah, no wrapping. You can't grab a guy that's six foot something, 200 no, pounds. No wrapping, just grabbing. Yeah. If you're going to grab, grab like it's a bag of chips. Mm -hmm. It's a bag of chips. I'd sure grab a hold of it. I like some chips. Second down and three. Number zero is a strong, strong runner, good quarterback for the Dangerfield Tigers. Got two receivers right, one left. He's going to give his full back. Going to go off tackle here on the right side. Good blocks. Nobody touches him. Still no one touches him. And number one's in for the score. Mm -hmm. It's a 48-yard touchdown run We're with at ease. One minute, 39 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Oh, there's a penalty marker. Well, it's got to be a hold. Penalty marker around the 20. They'll bring it back. Well, we won't write that one down. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, like I said, next week, Dangerfield and Harmony are both undefeated in our district. They'll be going for the district championship. Mm -hmm. Do they play in Harmony or Dangerfield? I don't know that. We'll bring it back to the 35 of the Wildcats. So, one minute, 39 seconds, 28 to 6. Number zero has three receivers left. He's talking to his fullback. One receiver to the right. He gets a snap. He's looking left. He throws that screen. I see where that... Where that comes from, that fullback runs out there to help block out of that left side position. He's going to pick up the first down. That's a pretty uh, pretty good execution there. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they do that all the time, and everybody sees it, and they're pretty successful with it. One minute, 20 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Dangerfield 28, Wascom 6. Dangerfield on the 20 yard line, first and 10. Yeah, Dangerfield, I have receiver right. Got a bunch of trips left. And his quarterback's going to do a read option. He gets it. Oh, and he, well, this time he, 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 we get a tackle. We get a wrap up. And that quarterback and slung him off. Slung him off, but fell in the process. So. <laughs> now we're under a minute left in the third quarter. Well, good, good job of 61 for the Wildcats. He's hanging on. And bringing him down. He lost a yard. Look at there. I think it's probably the first. No, he's back to the line of scrimmage. It's getting down. They stopped it at 49 now seconds. Are they calling a, a hold on Dangerfield? They're going to back him up a little bit. My goodness. Are they backing him up? Mm-hmm. First down and 20, or it should be, no, it's a penalty, so first down and 20. Clock is rolling again, under a minute. Ball's up to 30 now of the Wildcats. Now he's got two receivers left, two receivers right. Takes a snap, and he throws it under a screen to number five, and we get a hold of him. Bubba Jones oh. brings him down along with 61, Moses Agundes. Good job. Well, we got a tackle. Good job, Bubba. That's a good tackle because I think they lost another couple of yards. So we stopped them on that screen. They run two versions, that one where they run that fullback over to help block and go straight down, and then this one they run the fullback over to potential screen left, and they threw a screen on the receiver coming back towards the quarterback under 
Good stop by Bo Jones, number seven. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. Good. We're going to the fourth quarter. Dangerfield 28, Wascom 6. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Etex Telephone Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Wascom Wildcat football. Etex Telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guards, and the cheerleaders 100%. Etex Telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from Etex Telephone Cooperative. Determine the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Wascom Wildcats! Some band out there here in Jimmy Eacock Stadium making some noise, trying to fire up their team. Wildcats are down to the Dangerfield Tigers, 28 to six. Again, don't forget there is a fifth quarter at First Baptist Church, Wascom. Telephone. Right, there. Tatum's went up over Jefferson, 28 to 14. Uh oh. New Diana up over Legion Fields now, 21 to 7. It's pretty pretty good to hold yeah. there by the Jackets. Mm -hmm. Marshall now up over Nacogdoches, 35 to 20. Gilmer over Spring Hill, 38 to 7. Timpson final over Shelbyville, 61 to 0. Yeah, over there at Tatum and Jefferson, you got Cole Watson, a Louisiana Tech commit. He was quarterback here in Wascom. Played youth football over here in Wascom, him and uh, Carson Gonzalez, and they're going against uh, Jefferson's top running back, Cameron Williams. He was played them in sixth grade. They battled it out in youth football, and now they're here in the district championship in their 3A Division One. Going over to Tatum, goes to uh, Division One and gets to play their Foes there at Jefferson. Sounds like a battle there, and Tatum's got the lead up two touchdowns. Number zero for Dangerfield takes the snap, and we get him. These guys can break some tackles, but mm -hmm. Wildcats are hanging in there. They stop him. They pick up about seven. They're still fighting. I think we said, did somebody say they counted that we have on our team like 23 of our players are freshmen and sophomore? Let me see. I'll give you a little rundown. You do some talking. Okay. 11 minutes, 34 seconds now left to play in the fourth quarter. Dangerfield up 28 to six. Dangerfield in Wascom territory. 19, 19 freshmen and sophomore. Incomplete pass. Do they throw the screen or do they? Well, which way did he throw Bring it? up fourth down and four. I'm just curious, did he throw it over here on our side of the field or the other side? Our side. Our side. So number zero is looking at the sidelines wise receivers as well. The whole offense is looking. They probably know the play calls from the coach. Got two receivers on each side. Actually got trips on the right side, two on the left. So he has got a naked set here in the backfield. Zero calls for the snap. He looks left and he keeps looking left and boom, he gets hit. And Bubba, Bubba, you got a sack almost, buddy. Got to hurry up. Number seven, Bubba Jones. Mm -hmm. Unevaded, too. Pass, no one so touched him. Ball will go over on down. What the? What? What? Look at Bubba on the stop. Bubba Jones is one of those sophomores out of the 19. Mm -hmm. Bubba Jones is a good young man. He's been started in linebacker all season, and he, and he goes in at slot back. Um, he, Joe, and Nate Espy all played together. They're all sophomores, and Kelton Williams is Joe Irving's cousin as a junior. He's got that slot position when now Bubba's coming in for Joe Irving, number 10. Aiden Corbett, our freshman tackle, he did not know it was offense. He was as surprised as anybody because he wasn't out on the field. But he's out there now, folks, in the flex bone. Aiden Corbett tackle on the right side. Caleb Bush under center. Motion left, and we give it to – no, we get the pitch. Oh, we caught it this time. We didn't fumble. They are on that pitch. Mm -hmm. You got to be concentrating. Kelton was able to hang on 13 and 23. Let's see where they're at. I think 23 is a linebacker and 13 is a cornerback. Now, those are both linebackers. Just gained 
about two yards, so it's going to bring up second and eight. Just under 11 minutes left to play in the ball game. So, Wildcats down 28 to six. Now, now my question has been answered of why we haven't been running to this right side as much because those linebackers are so fast. Yeah, on this um, left side. Are super fast. Flex bone, motion left. We give it to Nate and we got a penalty. So super probably went sick. Jackson fast, was dealing fast. around over <laughs> here at the receiver position. And he's right by the coach, the head coach yeah. right there and the line judge. He's saying, What, coach? Yeah, what? I was trying to get set. I mean, I'm just, just over here waiting Why for Why didn't this. they wait on me? Here comes 33. We're going to call 33 coming in. And that is Hayden Burrow, our neighbor. Okay. And he's a freshman. Yeah, he's a little guy. Yeah, he but is. he's got a lot of heart. Yeah, he does good. He's usually mm -hmm. a defensive player. We haven't had a JV, I guess, for half the season, so they've been playing varsity, the ones that stuck it out going against um, the upperclassmen, the ones we have. So a shout-out to the freshman class. This season for the Wascom Wildcats. Hayden Burrow, I believe, will come in at receiver on the right side. Is the clock stuck? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The official. Oh, yeah. Man, that, that I'm not going to say nothing, mm -hmm. but it seems like that dude's the slowest caller. <laughs> it's almost like he's wanting, you know, okay, everybody hey. wait. I want you to look at me. He came be worse than last week. Well, that guy, he was, you know, he, he naturally couldn't do it. This guy here, he. He's just milking it. Now he's winding the clock. 28 to 6, the Wildcats come out here in offense. Hayden Burrows, receiver on the right side. Bush is under center. Motion left. And Nate Espy's going to fight for two or three. I believe. Oh, lost his helmet. Lost his helmet. I believe that's um, Jaden Miner is the receiver on the left side. Or no, that's, uh, I'm sorry, that's number eight. Um, Caleb's brother Trenton Bush. Nine minutes, 48 seconds left to play now in the ball game. Again, Wildcats down 28 6. Wildcats on their own 25 yard line, third and 10. So they'll break the huddle in the flex bone. Third and 10. Motion left, they go back right. We'll get a pitch to Joe Irving. Oh, and we can't get through that defense. That's 23 there on the right side now. He got moved to the right side. Couldn't get around that edge. No, 23 is a really good linebacker for the Dangerfield Tigers. So that's fourth and 10 on the 25 yard line of the Wildcats. What are we going to do now? Punt. Here comes the punt team. Let's see if we can punt far, far. Uh, we're going to punt it probably down here to the R48. You think? I yeah. wish we could punt it to the 20. No. Can't do it. Okay, we don't have it in us. Our punter is at the 14. But they're still going to try to block it. He's offsides. No, I guess not. It's a high snap, and oh. Nate's going to run it. No, he's going to try to oh, punt it. Oh, he tried to punt He's watching too much of he that He tried TV. to do a running punt. Yeah, they've done it. I mean, you can do that. Yeah. I think uh, but that was crazy. It's not going to work, and we're going to give the ball to Dangerfield inside the 30. Oh. So Dangerfield will come out and good. score here with 8 minutes, 27 seconds. Well, one thing is uh, hopefully we can keep it from 70-something. Last week we got in the 70s. Gunter beat their team mm -hmm. last week by 70-something. Franklin. Um, they went up 3 AD1. They fall, fall to Lorena. Hadn't lost in a long time. They were 3 AD2 with Wascom for a while. Here comes Dangerfield number zero leading his offense. Got three receivers here on the left, one on the right. Fullbacks on the left side. They'll get set. He'll call for the snap, and he's going to look to pass. We get a little rush there, and he's going to evade that blitz. And we get a hold of him, and we're able to hold on for a better on that quarterback. That Dangerfield quarterback is strong. 
picks up like four. So Wildcats have danger field here in the second. Again, Michael mentioned and earlier seven. wanting to see that Duncanville DeSoto game. That has been delayed until tomorrow at two. We're, we're, we need to look it up. Maybe we'll go watch it. Mm, I'm not sure where they're playing. Duncanville is in Dallas and DeSoto's in Dallas. So I'm just wondering what school. I go to Dallas. I Maybe like to do shopping. Maybe we'll jump in your helicopter. Will you take me in your helicopter? <laughs> yeah. I go to Dallas. I like to do shopping. Maybe, maybe we can go with the KMHT uh, plane. Uh, they'll yeah. send us. We'll, we'll wear our media passes if yeah. we get in. We'll go cover that game for you. So we're going to take a quick break. Got an um, injury timeout. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. Cooperative Incorporated is proud to be a sponsor of Wascom Wildcat football. East Tech's telephone is behind the football team, the band, the color guards, and the cheerleaders 100%. East Tech's telephone commends the hard work and dedication exemplified by each of these organizations. It is through their hard work and sacrifice that winners emerge. Best of luck from East Tech's telephone cooperative, serving the telecommunication needs of rural East Texas since 1952. Go Wascom Wildcats. All right, back here live, Wascom, Texas. Your Wildcats are down 28 to 6 to the ranked state ranked Dangerfield Tigers. Two receivers left and two receivers right. Number zero will call for the snap. You have motion left by number seven. He'll get it and give it number one off tackle to the right. Breaks a tackle and gets down to inside the 10. Looks like stopped at the six. <laughs> That was a different uh, look for the Wildcats. Felt like they were going to do a sweep on a jet play, cross, crossing, going left, and then they just gave it to the fullback counter right. They'll set up with trips left in a bunch inside the hash and one outside on the numbers. He's on the right hash. He gets and gives it to his fullback. Number one, number one gets stopped by Nate Espy. Mm -hmm. At the five. Mm -hmm. That was a good tackle by Nate Espy. Because number one, he is a pretty good size fellow as well and a good running back. Mm -hmm. He'll go out and take a breather. We'll switch in number two for the Dangerfield Tigers. Down to seven minutes left to play in the ball game. Dangerfield up 28 to six over the Wascom Wildcats. And they're on the five-yard line. Number zero gets his offense set, and then he looks back at the sidelines. He's got two receivers out on each side in the spread. Fullback's on the right side. He's going to motion one coming back across in front of him, and he goes a crossing slant to number five, and he got it, right? So the ball was on the five, and they do a slant. That got us last week. You got to get up on the receivers to stop that. Mm -hmm. So the number five, will set up five. to kick extra point. We'll be right back with some more Wascom Wildcat football. This is Matt Moore, General Manager of Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet in Marshall. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned vehicle, take the short drive over to Highway 59 South and come and visit. All of our inventory can be seen on the web at marshallford.net or at maverickchevrolet.net. With the largest discounts in East Texas, you're sure to find what you're looking for. If you haven't done business with us before, come see what you're missing. And if you have, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Marshall Ford and Maverick Chevrolet, your hometown automotive dealers. <laughs> Hey Wildcat fans, this is Josh Manus, attorney at law. Let's all support the Wildcats for a great season every Friday night. Hopefully we'll have a long playoff season as well. If you ever need a personal injury attorney, check us out at joshmanus.com. No longer do you need to call anyone in Dallas or Tyler. Since January 1 of this year, we've had over $10 million in verdicts and settlements. Check out our website at joshmanus.com. Ed Sports Center Designs at 310 North Washington in downtown Marshall proudly supports all school districts across East Texas, especially those here in Harrison County. With all kinds of sports apparel, they have everything you need to get ready for your team's big game. Whether it's hats, shirts, or custom-made letter jackets, they can do that for you and your students. 
They also have trophies, plaques, awards, and everything you might need to honor those from your district. It's Ed Sports Center Designs in downtown Marshall, formerly East Texas Sports Center. Back here live, Wascom, Texas. Six minutes, 32 seconds left in the game. Wascom down 35 to 6 to Dangerfield. Number 18 set to kick off to the Wildcats. Montez Thompson is in the back along with Kelton Williams. And they're going to kick it to the right side of fair catch at the 25. So again, we want to thank all our sponsors tonight. Player of the Game is sponsored tonight by brought to you by Fire and Dice Game Center in Marshall, your one-stop shop for fun. And Post Game is brought to you by Casey Sloan Construction. With over 25 years of experience, Casey Sloan Construction knows the difference between getting it done and getting it done right. First downs brought to you by Fathom Realty and touchdowns by Marshall Hometown Tire, keeping our family, our family, keeping your family rolling since 1970. Trenton Bush caught the kick in a fair catch at the 25. Wildcats will start here with six minutes, 32 seconds, two receivers right, one left, one slot back on the right side. Oh, looks like we fumbled the snap. So I think we or bobbled the snap, but it was a blown up play. So second down eleven for the Wildcats. Six minutes, ten seconds left to play in the ball game. Again, fifth quarter at First Baptist Church Wascom, sixth grade through twelfth grade, food games and a short devotional. Walk had to break the huddle with two receivers right, one left. Give it to our fullback. He'll get about six. Third down and five. Wascom at the 30. It's a good run. Good run. Kayla Bush is over here on the sideline with the coaching staff getting the play jogging back to the field into the huddle. The ball's actually says now they put it to 29. We said 30, they said 29. So it's third down and six. Meticulous line judges. Get it right, get it right. We'll break the huddle. Landon, no one out left. Joe Irving in the slot on the left side. Jackson Hicks on the right side. Kayla Bush not yet under center. And we got a call timeout with one second left on the play clock. So where are we at in the game? I'm just under five minutes left to play. Dangerfield up 35 to six. And Wascom on their 29 yard line. So um, let's see where Jefferson and uh, Tatum are at. Okay, well let's check in. See what the it. time is. That'd be a good victory for Tatum if they can pull off the win because I believe they're in Jefferson, aren't they? I'm not sure. Yeah. They're in the fourth quarter with nine minutes left to play, and Tatum is up 28-21. Yeah, they're in Jefferson, so that's a that's a good mm -hmm. game tonight there in Jefferson, Texas. New Diana is now up 28-7 to over Elysian Fields. Beckville 35-6 to over Harleton. Marshall and Nacogdoches still at 35-20. to Frankston uh, up over Orr City, 41 to 14. And Queen City is a final now. They beat Hugh Springs tonight, 36 to eight. Who beat them? Who beat Queen, Queen City? City beat, beat Hugh Springs, yeah. Gladewater now up 28-20 over Atlanta. So the Wildcats back out of the timeout in the flex bone. Kayla Bush now under center. Motion left and drops the snap again. What's happening with that? I don't know. I bet it's the nose guard giving us some trouble. Somebody there on the defensive line giving us some big time trouble. So we'll have to punt. I think it's number 70 or 72. Mm -hmm. Well, they're actually the DNs. I don't know who that is in the middle. You see that number? Mm -hmm. 65. 65 giving us trouble there at the nose guard. 
Let's see if we can get this punt off this time. We're back a little farther, huh? 23, that moved to his right side. He wants to get a block. Somebody over to pick 23 up. <laughs> the Wildcats having a punt all in the second half. Snaps back, and Nate's going to run this time. Just run it, Nate. All right, we got the first down on a fake punt. Fake punt. Well, you know, it looked like um, somebody over on the far side of the field looked like they they were moved. They were they were around. They were through quick, too quick. You know, it looked like they. Well, went see, first. like I was saying, they were wanting to block it, so mm -hmm. Nate just held it for a brief second. And as soon as they came down, crash, he just took off. That's out. a fathomability first down. Yeah, and that's good for us because I didn't want to see the. You think that was a? Uh, you think that was a planned thing? I don't know. They may have said it after the last punt because, you know, he ran. He had to, he had to run the last time. Right. And he decided to try to kick, and I bet they, you know, may have said, just just run it once they hold it for a second. Because they, mm -hmm. they were coming all in tight to try to block it. Nate's pretty fast himself. Three minutes, 47 seconds, 35 to 6. Motion right. And the quarterback's going to keep it. I don't know. The quarterback got out, out from under there. Didn't pick up anything, but... He didn't get caught in the backfield. So Kayla Bush on the, the quarterback keeper. Those, even the, uh, everybody on Dangerfield's uh, defense is fast. I'd hate to race 65 and 72. <laughs> I'm not telling how fast they are. He'd probably run a 5, 4, 9, 5, or 5, 40. I don't want to race anybody. We're at three minutes, 30 seconds left to go in the ball game, folks. Dangerfield up 35 to six. Wascom on their own 35 yard line. You know, Wildcats have two receivers on the left side and one slot back on the left. We're gonna give it to the fullback. Nate's got 12 there and he breaks loose from him. But he's got a whole mess of Dangerfield Tigers over there. May pick up one. Yeah, our center right there, he is having a tough time. He is having a tough time. That Dangerfield nose guard is working him over. The band's getting after it. Now we're under three minutes left to play. Two minutes, 45 seconds and counting. Third and nine for I wonder if they'll switch the quarterback after this. If, if I had number zero as a quarterback, you wouldn't have to worry about switching him. <laughs> He's definitely uh, well enough statured to take the whole game on. Give it to Nate Espy and a good run um, by Nate. There we go. Did he fly over the top after that? We're going to be one yard short. Was that fourth down? We, we, no, that was third down. Okay. So. so fourth and one. Well, we have been in fourth and one several times tonight. I'm telling you. And that's a tough place to be. So Caleb Bush is over here on the sidelines. He's going back to the huddle. 21 seconds on the play clock. Under two minutes left to play in the ball game. Danger filled up 35-6. Wascom now on their 45-yard line. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. Dangerfield all up in the box. Motion right. Ooh, they can try to get his legs. And Nate is out here at the 50, the 45, 43. Man, that's a fathom realty first down. And that's a great run by Nate Espy. And number 11 there for Dangerfield, he, he's a good good sport. He He's out mm -hmm. here in the our corner. Our receiver was trying to block him, and he, he fought through the block and got the tackle. But complimented number one on trying to block him. So that's good. We'll get the first down and we'll be able to run the clock down. Dangerfield hopefully won't call timeouts with a first and ten at their 42. They're up 35 to 6. Wildcats will move two receivers out on the left side. Under center, Caleb Bush. Joe in motion. 
Did they get the – oh, look, how did we do that? I don't know how we did that. We actually – that play that That's I talked about Fathom worked. Fathom Realty first down. Yeah, we did not see Leo Agundes. No, I, they had the quarterback right here, and I thought he still had the ball. Well, and you know, we took out Nate, so the defense was thinking – they're definitely giving it to one of them slots, mm -hmm. and Leo picked up one of the biggest gains of the game. We're down to 30 seconds left in the ball game, folks. So, so. 21, Leo Agundes picked up about 13 yards, 14. Motion left, Joe Irving. J.J. Moore is going to pick up a yard out of the fullback position. <laughs> I'm glad they blew the whistle. Number 13 and 20. And number 13 and 2 on the tackle for Dangerfield. That's going to be the end of the game. Clock runs down. The Wildcats mm -hmm. hanging there. We didn't get a score in the second half, but we held better than we did last week. 35-6 is the final here in Wasco. We did break Dangerfield's record of having no points scored on them in district. Well, and I, I'm sure there's going to be more points scored on them next week, but I'm going with Dangerfield. But we the broke district it. Champs. <laughs> and we played them first. That's right. <laughs> But we still, we, we did good. I mean, especially compared to last week. Our, yeah. our boys are improving. They're coming together. And that's what's good to see. Yeah. And they're going to do um, really good next year, um, having a lot more experience and a little bit of um, uh, time to grow, being freshmen and sophomore mainly for the Wildcats. So we'll be playing our last game of the season in Hugh Springs against the Mustangs next week. Mm -hmm. So And we'll be following the other area scores and bringing those to you. And, of course, this game between Dangerfield and Harmony will be one we'll definitely be watching. So until next week, and Michael and Joy out here at Wascombe, good night. <laughs>